welcome back to another guitar lesson today we're gonna learn how to play starving by Haley Stanfield it's very easy to play and you saw some bar chords over here and you can avoid all of them if you put a capo on the fourth fret all right so I'm gonna go through that as well just gonna show you the cards that you can replace uh, by putting a capo on the fourth fret in the very end of the lesson so you can skip over here if you you know want to make it simple but to me it sounds better without capo especially this riff the opening riff you can do all that without the capo all right so you know not difficult at all so let's see how to play the opening riff and the verse that's the main riff over here so we start out on E major then go to F um, sharp minor C sharp minor and B major that's the main uh, chords that we're using so just for you know this riff you don't need to play all these chords because we're just using two notes at a time so you can just you know put your fingers on two strings at a time so you start out by playing E major so to play E major you need open on the top string second fret second fret on the fifth and fourth strings and first fret on the third string but we are just playing the top string open with my thumb and you can play with your middle finger the third string first fret you know you can even use a pick if you want I just like to use my thumb and uh, the fingers and then you want to do a slap so how you do that is you just um, you know slap the strings with your with your palm with your fingers like this or with your thumb and that makes the sound because the string hits the fretboard so you can you know place the entire chord over here or you can just place first finger over here I like to use the whole chord just in case I play these two strings so it doesn't sound bad so you get that's what you have on E next chord is F sharp minor and for the riff you just need two notes again second fret on the top string and second fret on the third string all right so you're gonna play both of them together and then you know again you can do the slap so you get and four and one and two and three and four and so that's what we've learned so far then the next chord that you want is C sharp minor okay so it's played this way but for now we're just again using two notes so I'm gonna go through this one later so for now you just need fourth fret on the fifth string fifth fret on the second string and again you play the fifth string play the second string do the slap and then you come to B major and for that you just need second fret on the fifth string and you need fourth fret on the second string you're gonna play both of them together and then you can do the slap again so from the beginning you have this so the first time you have this now the next time you have this there's a little change in the end Okay, so here we're again moving to B, just that it's the other version of B. Two, two notes again, you need 7th fret on the top string, and you need 7th fret on the second string. You play both of them together. So that happens during the second time, alright? So you get this from the beginning. That's your intro and also the verse and then when the lyrics come to I was so much younger yesterday so much younger yesterday you know when the lyrics come to this you can change the chords you know that's that changes the chords over there so what you're gonna do is you start out with E major again and you're gonna play complete chords over here um, put, put the whole thing the whole chord E major on the left hand you're gonna play the top string open and you're gonna play the second and third strings together 
all right with your index and middle finger do the slap then you come to a major you can play it like this or like this so basically open on the fifth string second fret second fret second fret and you're gonna play the fifth string open and third and second strings together do the slap and then you got your C sharp minor so for that you need you know it's not a bar chord because uh, we don't need the first string so fourth fret on the fifth string sixth fret on the fourth and third strings and fifth fret on the second string okay so now the right hand is the same as we did on E major fifth string and second and third strings are picked together to the slap and then come to B major so for that you can either do this just like we did before um, second fret and fourth fret on the fifth and second strings but the right way to play it is second fret over here and then fourth fret on um, the fourth string third string and second strings all right so you can have a bar over here and here again you're going to play the fifth and second and third strings together so you get this i was so much younger yesterday and then you go to the chorus of the song and in the chorus of the song you can start strumming and the chorus will sound a bit like this So here again we are playing some proper bar chords and if you want to avoid the bar chords and like I said in the beginning of the video you can um, you know move forward to the easy version where you're going to put a capo on the fourth fret and then you can use some very easy chords but anyways for E major we got this strum pattern down up down up that is what is happening on E major down up down up This comes on F sharp minor or you know if you want to make it simple if you want to avoid this chord because this is probably the hardest of them all you can actually use A okay so down up down up down 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 up. this gives uh, the song a little different direction you know, in the original track however the proper F sharp minor is used so we're gonna use that one so you can there's two ways to play it you can play it like this with a bar on the second fret and then you got fourth fret fifth and fourth strings like this or you can play it like this you can have a little bar over here okay across the third string second string and first string on the second fret and then you can have fifth fret fifth string and fourth string fourth fret okay so you got down up down up E major down 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 up on F sharp minor okay down 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 up then you come to C sharp minor down up down up come to B major down 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 up once again down up down up down 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 up down up down up down Place the F sharp minor with A down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, stop on B major the next time down up down up down and then you know you can go to the instrumental part of the song where you just keep repeating the same chords da 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 you know the, the instrumental part where um, the electronic music comes in you know you can keep playing the same chords and then after that you're gonna, you're gonna go to the second verse that's all the rest of the song second verse same as the first one Go back 
to the this part and then you're again going to go to the chorus of the song and then again to the instrumental part and basically the second chorus keeps on repeating so after the second chorus and then you know the instrumental part of the second chorus so you just keep on doing this she just keeps on singing and then in the very end you again go to this uh, verse and the lyrics change but the tune is the same all right the same thing that's how the song ends in the end you know she just come to be and then she sings so much yesterday and ended on E major just how I ended the demo of the song when you played the video in the beginning I played um, give a performance of the song and just how I ended the performance it's kind of the same way the song ends you know so much and on E major so like I said there's just two parts in the song this riff and then the strumming in the chorus right so if you put a capo on the fourth fret you can make the song a little easy because you can avoid all of the bar chords all right so basically the, the chord progression that we were doing over there was um, from E major to F sharp minor to D minor to C sharp minor to B so now that that becomes your C major this is now your E major in the absolute key but since we have a capo uh, you know we're just gonna call it a C so to play the C major chord you need third fret on the fifth string second fret on the fourth string open on the third string first fret on the second string and open on the first string so C to D minor open on the fourth string second fret on the third, on the third string third fret on the second string and first fret on the first string so C to D and then A minor so for A minor you need open on the fifth string second fret second fret first fret and open again and then G so for G major you need third fret on the top string second fret on the fifth string and open open and open till the second string okay I'm not using the first string this version does not involve you know there's a riff that I was playing which is why I said that it only sounds better without the capo and you know playing it the original way this is just if you want to strum along and use easy chords put a capo on the fourth fret and go along the chords C major to D minor and A minor to G for the verse and the chorus so I simple strum pattern down up down up down 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 up so in C major down up down up to D minor down 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 up this is the same that we used in that version to D minor down up down up G down 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 up so down up down up down 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 up down the easy version for you that goes for the verse for the chorus for the instrumental for pretty much the whole song and just before the chorus for the lines I was so much younger yesterday and then you know you go to the chorus again so from C to F so F is played like this third fret third fret on the fifth and fourth strings second fret and first fret so so C to F and then A minor to G and the rest of the song is C to D minor and A minor to G. So 
that's how you play Starwing by Haley Stanfield. I hope you liked the lesson. And if you did like the lesson, then please make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Till then, goodbye.